Good Wednesday to you. I'm Storm Team 9 meteorologist Patrick Ellis here with your ENC weather update. This update coming for the afternoon package on July the 10th, 2013. Lots to talk about still with scattered rain chances in the forecast across the east over the next couple of days and also some heavy rain moving in here for the weekend. And we'll also talk about the tropical uh, troubles with Tropical Storm Chantal. Here's a look at the uh, satellite and radar loop this afternoon, and uh, you can kind of see that we've seen a few showers and thunderstorms close to the coast, and then uh, another refire as you head back off towards the uh, north and the east this afternoon, uh, north and west rather, up uh, north of Greenville, up towards, uh, say, Hobgood Speed, uh, Oak City, uh, Windsor, and Eskewville seeing some of these showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. Overall, uh, we are still seeing some of these uh, making their way through Bertie and as well as Martin, and uh, southern portions of Edgecombe, uh, Northeastern portions of Edgecombe, southern portions of the Halifax, currently 86 in Greenville, 90 degrees in Kenston, 90 in New Bern, 88 degrees currently for Richlands, Jacksonville. And here's the heat index. It is absolutely horrible outside. It feels nasty out there. 93 the current heat index in Greenville, 97 at Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, 94 uh, right now at Jacksonville. And here's a look from the uh, 500 millibar chart for off the GFS, the 12Z uh, GFS run. Uh, valid for uh, right now. Uh, basically, a uh, big storm track to the north of us. Uh, we've got a little piece of energy coming across the flow right now. We're in a mainly zonal flow at this point in time, and it's just kind of pushing these little impulses of energy on top of us. And that's why we've been seeing these little up crops of showers and thunderstorms uh, the past couple of days. And I think we continue with a chance for showers and thunderstorms through the next couple of hours. I think the best chance will likely stay inland uh, this afternoon. Temperatures are closing in on the 90 degree mark there along the coast in the mid 80s. Here's a look at the uh, the three kilometer her mark. The, uh, the the high resolution uh, window here and it has the right idea uh, these scatterings of showers and thunderstorms over the next couple of hours uh, kind of transitioning off towards the north and east now they're going to put down some rain and also some lightning associated with these as well but overall the severe threat will be low over the next couple of hours but I uh, do expect if you do find yourself underneath the shower or thunderstorm this afternoon expect some gusty winds uh, some lightning and obviously some heavy rains and even as we go into this evening uh, most of the shower activity should start to die out as we head through the early morning hours of your Thursday. Here's a look on uh, the Thursday back on the GFS and uh we got another piece of energy just looming off to our north and west. This little piece of energy is actually going to bring us a, a fairly good chance for some showers and thunderstorms. I think mainly for the evening hours uh, of Thursday and into Friday. Uh, it looks like we're going to have a decent chance for some showers and thunderstorms. And this little piece of energy down up and through here is what is Tropical Storm Chantal. I think through tomorrow, I think we'll stay with a good chance for uh, with a chance for some showers and thunderstorms mainly in the late afternoon hours. And uh, that's going to be as that little trough of low pressure moves into the area. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon likely uh, still in the upper 80s. Mixture of sun and clouds for us. And once again, here's that the energy associated with Chantal and the rain associated with it as well. But you see it really just falls apart on the GFS. Now the early track guidance uh, from this afternoon all over the place. I mean now we've got several models uh, keeping it on a more westerly track until it gets to about... Uh, say the end of the western tip of Cuba and then starts to move into the Gulf and then we've got another consensus uh, coming up towards Savannah Georgia uh, these models have kind of gone all over the place the last uh, couple of uh, actually the last 12 hours or so yesterday very good consensus uh, bringing it up towards uh, Florida uh, now the official track has kind of wavered back and forth it looks like it's going to come across say Jamaica and then move up across central Cuba and then uh, right along the Florida coast here's the official track right in through here you see all the models just kind of definitely being spaghetti like uh, at this point as we uh, continue to watch and we've got this one it comes right up and through uh, eastern North Carolina that's uh, though something uh, definitely an outlier but something to look at uh, so we're not completely out of the woods at this point, but still we're going to keep a close eye out on it because uh, definitely some of the moisture associated with it will try to sneak its way into the area. Here we are on Friday and a good sweeping trough moving through here. This is what's going to help us uh, get more rain showers across eastern North Carolina. Deep southwesterly pool uh, of moisture coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, we could see anywhere from a, a, you know one to three inches of rainfall in some pockets uh, with this setup here. 
uh, going in towards, uh, say, Friday. Uh, temperatures will be a touch cooler. will be in the low 80s that afternoon, and some areas may not even make it out of the uh, upper 70s, uh, considering the fact that we'll have so much cloud cover and also uh, the rain showers in play. Here we are on Saturday, and still with the trough on top of us, and... Uh, it's still bringing up good moisture, so I think that, especially for the morning time hours on Saturday, a better chance for showers and thunderstorms, and that's reflected right here on the uh, surface chart. Now, I will say this. You see a little lobe of low pressure trying to dive south here. It's going to get cut off here and then transients back down towards the south and west around the uh, mega ridge here in the central United States, and we've got the Bermuda High off the coast at this point, still offshore, and still not affecting us. Uh, that's unfortunate because we definitely need to dry out here and that you're going to watch this little low pressure system make its way down towards the south and the, mind you this is still Sunday and we're still talking about a decent chance for some showers and thunderstorms about 40 to 50 percent chance temperatures still low it's low to possibly mid 80s in some spot here we are on Monday and the low started continues to make its way down towards the south and west Bermuda High well offshore and then this little guy down here something to watch this is a this would possibly be another tropical wave that's coming across the uh, the Atlantic right now but you see that nothing's really organized underneath that little wave so that's good news in that department it's high pressure the surface high trying to ridge back in here the upper level high still well back off to the east but underneath that uh, low of low pressure we're not seeing very much in the way of precipitation uh, across our area now we'll keep chances of rain in the forecast uh, most definitely but you don't see very much precipitation underneath that and temperatures will stay a uh, touch cooler than climatological normals will be in the uh, mid 80s that after that low below pressure starts to shear out over us as we head towards Tuesday another decent chance for some showers and thunderstorms I think the best chance will likely stay inland uh, looking at the by Wednesday finally the the uh, ridge starts to build back in here. The Bermuda, Bermuda Ridge starts to build back in here. And that's going to bring in some warmer temperatures and some drier weather as we head towards a Wednesday of this upcoming. We're going to be able to bring rain chances down to about 20% come Wednesday. And uh, temperatures warming up back towards 90. So a little bit closer towards climatological normal. And the upper air ridge starts to continue to move back towards the west. So even for Thursday, we'll be looking at low end rain chances. That'll do it for me here on the ENZ Weather Update. You can stay up to date with us on Facebook as well as Twitter and on WNCT.com. Next update here, uh, not going to be until, uh, say, Friday or Saturday, depending on how the situation does look for us as far as the heavy rain setup is concerned for the mid-portion of the week. Do be ready for heavy rain for Friday and Saturday across eastern North Carolina we could pick up anywhere from one to three inches as we continue to see this deep southwesterly flow bringing up that moisture across our area tune in tonight at 5 536 as well as 10 on CW and 11 o'clock on WNCT.com to see Chief Meteorologist David Sawyer and the latest update on Tropical Storm Chantal you guys have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your weather week